Here at the Digital News Desk with Watertown Mayor Sarah Pierce to talk about tonight's meeting, tonight being December 2nd. Quite a few things on the agenda, so thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Before we start with the agenda tonight, let's talk about the snowstorm that we just went through. And uh, it, it was intense. City crews were out there doing all, all that they could. Uh, the assessment here on a Monday is that what? Things are, are pretty well we're set? We're glad the sun is shining and we're glad that the snow has stopped and it's letting us go and take care of some of those side streets that might not have been um, adequately plowed yet and essentially just do any kind of uh, residual cleanup from the storm. I was on my way here. I noticed DPW is cutting back some of the snow banks, so that's important too. So essentially today it's just a, about all of that final cleanup. And also, I'll mention too, also about reminding people to clear their sidewalks um, if they have not yet. That's a big factor. Um, I know when it comes to kids getting safely to and from school. So just a reminder to the public to clear those sidewalks. Sidewalks and the fire department would tell you about the fire hydrants. Well, they're also, that's another thing that's happening today is they're working on uh, getting the fire hydrants cleared out. The city of Watertown did take up New York State's offer for some help, right? Because of the storm and because of the intensity of it, how did New York help out? How did the state help out Watertown? We, we did. I got um, some communication, I believe it was on Friday, from the governor's office and then a call from the DOT commissioner uh, basically saying, you know, we're, we're watching what's happening or what's about to happen in Watertown. If things get out of hand and you find yourself struggling to keep up, give us a call. We're there to assist. So we did end up taking them up on that offer and they were able to uh, keep the main arteries in the city clear so we could focus on the side streets. So they took care of maybe uh, like know, State Washington Street, Washington, State, yeah. Yes, those, those, main, those big roads. Main roads. And, and so that, that's happened now a couple of times in the past couple of years. Um, and so that relationship between the state and the city pretty important when it comes to oh, these. Oh, it's, it's definitely appreciated. And my, my message, I guess, to city staff, anytime that we get a call from the state saying, hey, we'll help, it's take them up on the offer because the, the more quickly we can get things cleared up, the better it is for residents. So we appreciate the partnership with the state. It's definitely great support to have. And the DPW crew that you do have, spectacular, spectacular and did a great job. Spectacular, yes, as always. And it's it seems like these big storms tend to hit on holiday weekends. I remember was it two years ago we had Thanksgiving and then Christmas. So my fingers are crossed that we don't encounter this again. At Christmas. <laughs> and we don't have another Christmas have blizzard repeat. as we did in 22. Uh, so tonight's meeting starts up at 7 o'clock. It'll begin with um, the meeting itself, but at 7.15 you have a public hearing. The public hearing will go through a couple of things. Uh, on there are these local laws that are to help combat or prohibit uh, some of the things that the people that find themselves homeless are doing in Watertown. So no camping in certain areas, no uh, clogging up the sidewalk with, 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 with a cart or, or their, their belongings. Um, and we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. What's the reaction been from the community since this has been put out there, that the, that the city may enact these new laws? I would say for me personally, it has been only positive feedback from people who are supportive of seeing these new laws enacted. Uh, I think people, for the most part, they are sympathetic to the situation that these individuals are in, but they also recognize that help is available to them should they choose to seek it, and that it's important to have these sorts of laws on the books so we're able to keep the city as a safe place for residents. And people can come tonight and voice their opinion on yes. this. That's the public hearing part of this, right? Yes, at 715, they can come and weigh in. I've heard from um, downtown business owners who intend to come and voice their support they're encouraging others to voice their support. Uh, so for anybody who would like to weigh in, whether you're for it or against it, 715 tonight is the time to do so. Um, you're also appointing people to the ethics board. Is it committee or board? It's a board? It's a board. It's a board. Okay, so ethics board. Um, and reappointing some people that are on it right now, but you did have a vacancy, we did and have a vacancy. you're going to take care of that tonight. Yes, we uh, have a resolution on the agenda to appoint another individual to the ethics board, which will uh, give us a full board, um, fill that vacancy. And uh, it's Don Rutherford, who is the former CEO of the LD, Watertown LDC. Uh, he recently retired, and you know, we thank him for the service with the LDC and thank him for his interest in serving on the ethics board. That's a volunteer position. Correct. Uh, and so the, uh, Don Rutherford will be uh, considered for that. And the other members, how many total are on that board? Do you know off the top of your head? I believe it's five total. Five, so this will make the, yes. the fifth. Uh, the other thing that we'll talk about, um, the meeting tonight is going to have a staff report on the golf course, on the Watertown golf course. Um, bought a couple of years ago, 
and you get to see some final numbers for the season uh, that we just went through. It was rainy, that's one thing. You had some competition because another nine hole golf course in the city of Watertown. What can you tell us that you know about how well uh, the Watertown golf course did for this past golfing season? I think all things considered, as you mentioned, we had the added competition from Ives Hill Country Club, uh, as well as an overall wet summer. But taking those two factors into account, I think it was a positive season. I know that in the report that um, we will take a look, closer look at tonight, it indicates we had more tournaments than in years past, um, and that the losses this year were slightly less than the year prior. So anytime that happens, that's a positive thing. That was my next question is, uh, is it making money or losing money? It's losing money. But better than what it did in the first year. Better than previously. Yeah, yes. so th $300,000 roughly that first year. If my memory serves me correct from what I read in the report, I think it was 300000 or so the initial year, and then um, I want to say 276000 Don't quote me on that. Sure. Um, but in that ballpark. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, you got, you got to kind of see what... Uh, how the golfing season goes and and maybe if you had better weather it could have gone better but it sure. is headed in the I right mean, direction it's, it's it is headed in the right direction but it, it's a tough business you sure. know with weather dependent and just that the fact that we have such a short season here uh for golfing so um i think you know we knew that going into it all right and then the Christmas parade and Christmas tree lighting and Santa and all the good stuff happening on Friday, right? Happening Friday. I did see that there's another uh, snow event coming up. Hopefully uh, we avoid that uh, coinciding with the parade, but the parade will be on Friday, 6 p.m., Washington Street. It'll start at Green Street. It will end um, right around City Hall. We'll have the viewing stand set up there. We'll do the tree lighting and then uh, new this year we'll have Santa in the library and he'll be uh, meeting with kids, talking with them. So it's a nice family event. Good deal. So that'll be happening on Friday. A lot to uh, go through. We appreciate you coming in today and doing that. Thank you very much. All right.